Hey, what's up, guys? So we're already seeing crazy fluctuations in the copper market. Uh, put a couple copper up for sale on a kind of like a test basis to see. And so I've seen them sell all the way up to 30 and then all the way up to around like one gold per copper, uh, copper ore. So as you can see here, this is the copper ore here. We sold 12 of them and we sold them for a little bit under one gold each, around 80 or so silver, and they sold right there. We also went ahead and sold six copper ignits, and we sold those for, uh, it says a little over three gold each. So that is crazy right there. We got 20 gold profit out of that. The, the prices are insane sometimes, but they do fluctuate dramatically. Right now, they are currently, we failed to sell this one, and we failed to sell this one. So obviously, we're not selling large bunches. When you do sell things, you want to smell in small quantities. That's the key to everything. And right now, currently, the prices of copper is actually quite low. It, again, it fluctuates dramatically. So we're seeing copper here at 9 silver. This is definitely a buy stage for the copper. Uh, you're going to want to buy that. And then you can probably flip it and sell it for 30 or 40 silver fairly easy. You can see there's not too much on here. But it appears that a lot of players don't really realize that copper is going to be valuable. Uh, you're getting up to qu higher quantities actually quite a bit right here. But again, a lot of copper is going to be taken out of the system. And most players don't even realize that copper is going to be valuable in the next couple days. So that's why you're seeing this push and pull and change dramatically in prices. You have the smarter investors who watch the live stream or looked at videos and such and know what the, the skateboard actually takes to make. And then you have the normal casual players that have no idea that the skateboard is even coming out. But when they start seeing a lot of players running around with a skateboard who's going ultra fast and doing kickflips and such, they're definitely going to want a skateboard. And so then they're going to be like, how do I make it? And they're going to be like, oh shit, I have to go get a lot of copper. So that's why the prices are you know, in a constant struggle right now, in my opinion, is that you got a lot of casuals that don't know about the skateboard, don't know about the cost, don't know that it takes 300 copper or... Uh, actually, 390 copper ore, I believe, uh, minimum to make the skateboard. And that's why they're still throwing the copper up there really, really cheap. And then when someone smart like me or someone else comes up, they're like, oh, wow, copper at 10 silver each. I'm going to go buy all that up and sell it tomorrow or the next day for 30 or 40 silver each and make a huge, huge profit. So you can make a lot of money on this. I would re probably recommend buying copper anywhere under 15 silver each. And then same thing with the copper ignits. If you are going to buy copper ignits, probably buy them anywhere between 40 silver under. So here would probably be a pretty good value here. Because it does take three copper to make a copper ignit. The only thing else that you need is a small amount of labor. Another item that you may want to look out is the special copper, the pure copper right here. So pure copper actually gives you, uh, I believe it's nine copper. Yep, so it gives you 9 copper, so for 70 silver, that's actually a really good value. That's around 8 or 9 silver per copper, maybe a little bit less. So you might want to check these. The pure coppers could be a better value than buying the straight-up copper ore itself. So again, I think the lowest copper ore right now is at, <coughs> excuse me, is at like 10. Yep, so it is definitely cheaper to buy those green, rare copper this one will generate you a lot more copper, so let's go ahead and buy this and show you and demonstrate that. Uh, I believe it is nine. I've done a couple of these. I've bought a couple of these guys to test it out to see, because again, they were also the better money maker. So we bought one of those. We have 61 copper right now, so it should push us up to 70. Yep, 70 copper right there. So again, we got 90 or nine copper for 70 silver, which that breaks out to let's see a little bit, a little bit over seven silver per copper or a little bit under eight silver per copper 